This is the Sumatran Rhino, possibly the most threatened large mammal on the planet. There are only between 34 and 47 left in the world. They are so endangered that the IUCN estimate the chance of extinction in 60 years is 90% without successful interventions. Unlike its larger cousins, the Sumatran Rhino is the smallest living rhino species characterised by its small size, hairy skin and two horns. These incredible creatures are uniquely adapted to their dense, tropical forest habitats where they once thrived across the jungles of Southeast Asia. By the 1950s, the Sumatran rhino had been exterminated from most of its range. In the 19th century, it occurred in much of northeastern India, Bhutan, and what is today, eastern Bangladesh. The last sighting in Bangladesh occurred in 1967, when a rhinoceros was killed in the Chittagong Hill Tracts. The last sighting of the Sumatran rhino in the state of Assam was also in 1967. In eastern Manipur, stray rhinos were encountered as recently as the early 1990s. The last sighting in India occurred in 1994 when people in an area south of Saramati reported seeing a dwarf rhino. It is likely that the Sumatran rhino disappeared from India by the late 1990s. Two horned rhinos have been reported in the Annamite mountain range between Laos and Vietnam, but they have not been confirmed to have lived there. The last sighting in Vietnam comes from 1966. Rhinos were also reported to have survived in far northern Myanmar until the late 1980s. Sumatran rhinos were reported frequently in northwest Myanmar until the 1990s, where it is possible that a few rhinos could still survive, as it is where the last confirmed sighting of a Sumatran rhino in Myanmar occurred, of two adults and a calf. Despite the possibility of rhinos still occurring there, it is considered unlikely. Moving further south, in the 1960s, Sumatran rhinos could be found in three locations in Thailand, the south of the country near the Malayan border, the Tenasserim range, and in the north of the country where the last sighting of a Sumatran rhino in Thailand was made in 1973. By the 2000s, the Sumatran rhino was confined to peninsular Malaysia, Borneo and Sumatra, found in just nine national parks across Indonesia and Malaysia but the population has still kept declining. The last time a Sumatran rhino was seen in the Malay Peninsula was in 2007. The last rhino in Borneo was also seen shortly after this, restricting them to just three populations in Sumatra. With the last sighting of one in Bukit Barisan being in 2015, it is possible that there are only two populations left on Earth. But how did this happen so quickly? Analysis of a complete genome of a rhino suggested strong fluctuations in population size, with a general trend of decline starting in the middle to late Pleistocene. With an estimated peak effective population size of 57,800 individuals 950,000 years ago, declining to around 500 to 1,300 individuals at the start of the Holocene, this was likely due to climate change limiting suitable habitat for the rhinos causing fragmentation due to the flooding of Sunderland. However, this study was later criticised for not including DNA from extinct mainland populations, which would have provided a better account. Human-induced habitat change and hunting may have played a role in the decline in the late Pleistocene. An analysis of complete mitochondrial genomes from multiple individuals across the range of the species suggested that the population had been relatively stable, with an effective population size of 40,000 individuals over the last 400,000 years, with a sharp decline starting around 25,000 years ago. From the early 1990s, the population decline was estimated at more than 50% per decade. Poaching of Sumatran rhinos was historically the main cause of decline, due to the high price of its horns. The Sumatran rhino has been overhunted for many centuries, leading to a fast population decline. The rhinos are difficult to find and hunt directly, so poachers make use of spear traps and pit traps. Hunting of this species has primarily been driven by a demand for rhino horns used in traditional Chinese medicine. The rainforests of Indonesia and Malaysia, which the Sumatran rhino inhabits, have also been cleared on a huge scale. With 56% of Malaysia's forests, 50% of Sumatra's forest, and over 30% of Borneo's forest having been destroyed. Currently, the main cause of the drastic decline is likely the Ali effect, which means that each isolated group lacks sufficient genetic diversity for long-term survival. Potential unrelated mates cannot readily find each other in the wild, which can lead to inbreeding depression. These factors contribute to the Ali effect, causing the population to become vulnerable to human exploitation.
Despite the species' lack of reproductive success, in the early 1980s, some conservation organisations began a captive breeding programme. Between 1984 and 1996, this conservation program would transport 40 Sumatran rhinos from their native habitats to zoos and reserves across the world. Whilst hopes were initially high, and lots of research was conducted on the captive specimens, by the late 1990s, not a single rhino had been born into the program, and most of its proponents agreed that the program had been a failure. After years of failed attempts, one became pregnant for the sixth time. All five of her previous pregnancies ended in failure. She gave birth to a healthy male calf named Andalus in September 2001. The birth of the calf in Cincinnati was the first successful captive birth of a Sumatran rhino in 112 years. Then on the 30th of July 2004, a female calf was born, followed by another male on the 29th of April 2007. In 2002, the firstborn male was returned to Sumatra to take part in a breeding program, leading to the June 2012 birth of a male calf. In October 2015, Harapan, the last rhino in the Western Hemisphere, left the Cincinnati Zoo to go to Sumatra. In 2013, footprints, mud wallows, tree markings, and signs of rhino feeding were found in Kalimantan. And subsequently, three individuals were identified. One rhino was found dead several weeks after the sighting due to an infection caused by a snare. A female was captured in 2018, and another female still remains in the wild. In August 2016, there were only three Sumatran rhinos left in Malaysia, all in captivity. On November 23rd, 2019, the last of these rhinos died at the Borneo Rhino Sanctuary, making the species extinct in Malaysia. At the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary in Wei Kambas National Park, a female was born on the 12th of May 2016. Another female was born on the 24th of March 2022. A female was born on the 30th of September 2023. All three of these coming from the same pair. Then, another pair gave birth to a male calf on the 26th of November 2024.